Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get into your reading Taurus. Your first card here is the Justice card. So you're dealing with the current situation of feeling like you are wanting some type of justice, some type of balance. Now the obstacle here is the Eight of Cups. Someone is refusing or not wanting to walk away. We have the Death card. Uh, for some of you guys, uh, there was some type of temporary separation. Uh, for others of you, it could have been that recently there is a conclusion to a relationship. Now, you do have the world card. So the world card and the death card, major transformation. Um, yeah, definitely. We have endings here. All right. So for some of you guys, it could be that there was recently a separation or a recent ending to a relationship. Uh, there is a feeling of you were treated unfairly or unjustly. Now, the Eight of Cups as an obstacle usually indicates when we get to a point that we know things have to change, but yet we're still refusing to change or we're refusing to make a decision or a choice that uh, perhaps it's, it's, it's something that it's almost like you're clinging on to hope. So you're not really making a change. You're not really making a move. And as an obstacle, that time to react or that time to make a move or to make a change has already passed. So it's almost as if for some of you guys, the, the harder you held on to a relationship, the more you felt like it was crumbling or falling apart. Now, for others of you, those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, you perhaps... Uh, the same scenario, uh, you were holding on to a relationship and it really affected you on a grander scale. So I think that at this present time, there is still healing happening with you, Taurus. Be patient with yourself. Don't put too much pressure on yourself or don't make make yourself feel like sad or, or more constantly sad. So as an example, um, a lot of the times when people are sad, you know, you have a tendency of listening to sad music. Uh, why? Because you can connect with the lyrics, but unfortunately, instead of making yourself feel better, you're making yourself feel worse. So what they're saying here is be very mindful of not only the energy that you're receiving or the energy that is around you, but also uh, be mindful of understanding that you have the power to you have the power to make yourself feel better or you have the power to make your, yourself feel worse. I hope that makes sense. Now, your advice card here is the seven of swords. So if you felt like this person or your partner has been sneaky, has been keeping things from you, they haven't been completely honest or transparent. All of this is going to be unfolding. All of this is going to be coming out to the open. With the seven of swords as an advice card, what they're saying is, Stop looking at them with loving eyes. You got to see them for what they really are, because if not, you're not only going to be taken advantage of, but you're also going to be left feeling like you weren't, you know, appreciated or you weren't vindicated and they abused or used you. And no one likes to feel that way. Now, the energy is currently influencing is the, the high priest here. So what they're saying is, that at this present time, it's very important to either, it could be that you're surrounding yourself with a teacher, you're surrounding yourself with people that have higher learning. Um, for some of you guys, it could even be like going to healers uh, to guide you through this process, this healing process that needs to happen. Now you do have the Ace of Wands, so there's new beginnings coming towards you, uh, Taurus. I do want to mention, you have the death card and the world card. So there's major transformation that's happening. There is a new beginning in the horizon for you. But with the Ten of Swords, stop ignoring or stop resisting the changes that come with that. Um, I think that that's very important to note. And what they're saying here is that, yes, you've been through difficult situations, but you've come out of it because you're a strong individual and this is only making you stronger, Taurus. It's time you start believing more in yourself. With the Ace of Wands, like I said, new beginnings coming towards you, a new inspiration. For some of you guys, it could be dealing uh, with the Scorpio. You may be dealing with a Libra. You may be dealing with uh, a Leo. Um, for others, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra type of energy. 
But I do see a new opportunity or a new person coming towards you. It doesn't have to be a king. It is a general rating. Uh, so it could be a uh, female or male that's coming towards you for a new beginning, a new inspiration, or your desires are being ignited. Uh, what they're saying here is do not allow yourself to be mistreated. Do not allow yourself to be watered down. Um, don't feel like you have to sacrifice who you are to make someone else happy. Um, because oftentimes with the Ten of Swords and the Strength card, it speaks to me about even trying to change yourself to accommodate your partner. When in reality, it's your partner that either has stepped out of the relationship, is not being completely honest with you, or they expect too much from you without really giving anything in return. All right. So I hope this gives you guys some type of insight. I hope it gives you clarity and we'll see each other soon. Bye.